Hey, what's up? My name is Josh Moose, or Moose, from Grandma's House Audio, which is my recording studio in New Kensington, Pennsylvania. Check me out online, grandmashouseaudio.com. This is the third video of my Vocal Week series where I'm showing you how to get better sounding vocals before you even start recording. Today, I'm gonna to be talking about melody and phrasing. So the melody is the actual musical notes that your vocalist is singing throughout the song. And the phrasing is how you actually start, stop, how long you hold out the note, and how you actually pronounce the word. Even if your lead vocalist screams, you wanna know where they're screaming highs, lows, growls, and all that stuff. It's very important for your singer to know the melody that he or she is singing. Your lead screamer to know what pitches that they're screaming in and what the phrasing of the lyrics actually are for several reasons. Number one! Going into the studio, you won't waste any time trying to figure out what actually works with the song. This will give you more time to be creative by doubling your vocals or tripling, adding harmonies and backup vocals because you'll already know what the lead foundation vocal is doing. Number two! Knowing your phrasing allows you to be able to stack your vocals faster. So you'll know when you started, when you stopped, how long you hold something out, and how you actually sang the word. So since you already know that going into the studio, when you go in, if you didn't know and you just sang something, and then you didn't, it was a good take, and you didn't know how you actually did it, you don't have to sit there and try to figure it out. You can stack more vocals on it and be creative with it, and you'll know what kind of effects you want and make the song cool. Also, it'll make your vocals in the recording sound so much more tighter because you're stopping, starting at the same time and pronouncing the word exactly the same. And if you have other people in your band singing along with the lead vocal, it'll make them sound much more tighter live. So you guys will sound sick. So first I'm gonna sing a melody with a harmony over top of it. And I want you to pay attention to the phrasing because I didn't practice it and it's not gonna sound very tight. Then I'm gonna play another vocal melody with the same harmony over top of it that I did practice the phrasing and pay attention to how much tighter it actually sounds. I'm just gonna sing randomly. 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 So that's all I have on this video about melody and phrasing. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, please comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Josh Moose from Grandma's House Audio. Thanks for watching.